Hi guys, I'm back. I've been gone for a while because we were in the process of moving out and moving into our new place. We just got our Wi-Fi and cable and we've been moved out for over a month. So it's been a while and it's been driving me crazy and we finally got it on. I did record a couple things of us like moving and everything so I'll get those uploaded after this video. They require more editing. So I'm going to try and make this simple so I can upload it right away. Today I'm going to show you guys how I make carne asada tacos. Real easy and really good. It tastes just like if you made them outside but I'm making them inside and they're real easy to do. I might show you guys how I make my salsa. I don't really eat salsa or like salsa but I just make it for my husband. I don't really have like a specific recipe for the salsa but I'm just going to show you guys how I'm making it today and maybe you guys will like it if you guys try it yeah so if you guys want to see how i make my tacos keep on watching so i'm going to start making the salsa first just because it takes a little bit longer to cook um so i'm going to just go ahead and make the salsa first i'm going to boil four tomatoes i'm going to boil four tomatoes four little tomatoes and normally i just use serrano serrano peppers but I'm gonna do serrano and jalapeno so since I don't ever eat salsa I don't know how hot this is gonna be and sometimes the chiles aren't hot so I'm just gonna do a, a big jalapeno <laughs> and then two serrano chiles hopefully it's not too hot my husband says he likes it hot so we'll see about that <laughs> So I just barely turned it on. I, I don't think it really matters if you wait for it to boil first, but there we go. I'm just going to leave it on while I start making the meat. So first, turn on the stove, add a little bit of oil. I'm going to use this carne picada that I bought from Walmart. It's already cut and everything. It was $10. Um, it'll last me like two days though, so it's not bad. I'm going to wait for that to get hot and then I'll put the meat on. The seasoning I'll be using is the Chef Marito Steak and Meat Seasoning. Carne asada and viste. And a little bit of lime. So I'm probably going to pour about half or whatever I could fit on here. And I have it pretty hot. And I probably have it on medium heat. So I like to start adding the seasoning and the lime early just so it could soak in the flavor. So I'm just going to put a little bit of lime. I don't really measure out the salt just because I know about how much to put. I mean, it depends on how much salt you like or seasoning. So it, um, I just sprinkle it all over like one layer. So basically, if you like it salty, add more. I add a little bit at a time and then once it's kind of cooked I can try it and see if I want to add more or not. At this point I'm going to put the heat to high. I feel like if you cook it on high it saves more of the juice and flavor. I'm not a professional here, I'm just showing you guys how I cook my tacos. And I can also tell if the meat isn't like changing color that it needs more seasoning. That's just kind of how I see it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna slowly add more and you guys can see how I add it and everything. So I'm not really gonna explain to you like every time that I add it on, but just you know, just watch. <laughs> At this point, when it's all a little bit darker, you can go ahead and try it and see if it needs any more seasoning. Just 
just be careful not to burn yourself. I like mine a little more salty, so I'm going to add more. It's pretty good. Um, I noticed that the meat's not cut up as much as I wish it was, but it's still pretty good. I like it when it's really cut up um, a lot more. At this point, when there's a couple burnt pieces, that's how I like it. I like my meat pretty cooked, so I think I'm. I think it's about ready now. I'm just gonna turn it off and then go make the salsa. So since right now, so since right now we don't have a blender, I'm using my Nutri Bullet. No Magic Bullet. <laughs> I'm using my Magic Bullet. All I did was cut up a piece of onion that's in there, just a little piece. And then I am going to have to do it separate, but I'm just going to mix all this up right now and then I'll show you guys the end results. I also added a little bit of salt and then it's just to taste how much you like, you know. So just add a little by little and see what you like better. If you guys watch Alondra and Elsie, bon appetit! <laughs>